Konnichiwa. This is David and Mina, and we are here today to talk a little bit about G Gundam. Um, this video is going to span probably a few videos. Mm -hmm. We're, we're going to break it up at about the 10 minute mark. Yes. Um, but we're going to go over the series. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the things in it, um, the way that it works, uh, and the interesting parts and the less interesting parts. <laughs> Whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so, first off, um, I should probably s tell you that there will be spoilers. Terrible spoilers. Terrible spoilers, because we're, we're actually going to go over the series. Um, we're not going to talk about every individual episode, no. but we are going to talk about the basic plot arcs. Yes. Um, and but this is not a deep show. There's no lost yeah. twists that are going to surprise you. This is pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's downright formulaic in parts, which is fine. That's mm -hmm. sort of the format. Mm -hmm. um, it's supposed to be that way. Yes. So um, the value of the show is really like in the execution and the characterization <laughs> and stuff. Yes. Um, so, Don't go with us on this. It's true. Yeah, yeah. So there's nothing that we can spoil here that mm -hmm. is going to be less valuable uh, in, in the later watching. Mm -hmm. Um, so, just to get us started, mm. um, Mobile Fighter G Gundam yes. is the name of the series, the proper name, uh, and it aired in Japan from 1994 to 1995, mm. um, so it was one full season, mm. uh, 49 episodes, mm -hmm. uh, and most Americans uh, probably know it from its time on Cartoon Network. Right. It was in... 2002. That's where I'm familiar with it from, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. Um, I believe, and as far as Cartoon Network stuff goes, mm. um, don't quote me on this because mm. I, I, I'm not sure. I didn't watch it on Cartoon Network. I think it came after Gundam Wing. Yeah, it was um, on at the same time, right? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Um, I didn't watch it on Cartoon I Network. I didn't watch so Gundam Wing, so I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I, I think I think Gundam Wing started, and then um, it was popular, so mm. G Gundam picked up. Mm. Um, as And then the, the original series. Uh, so it kind of went mm. in a weird reverse order there. And this is also the time that they were airing One Piece and, and you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, actually, I think um, I think this would have been after the original series because um, 2002. I know the original series had problems because um, of the September 11th attacks. Right, right. They just stopped airing it because too much. Yes, yes. Um, now it's also it's the first series set out outside of the Universal Century timeline. Right. So this is the first alternative timeline. Yeah. Um, if you are familiar with Gundam, um, you, or even if you have it, you might have heard of Wing Gundam, mm. um, X Gundam, Turn mm. A, C, Double mm. O, um, Build Fighters. Build Fighters. These are all shows that are not set in the standard timeline of Gundam. Mm. Um, so if you're used to the, the classic 1978, 1979 series, um, Gundam, it's not related to that. It's like an alternate universe, right. unrelated. Right. So, if you want to pick up something wacky, you can pick this up entirely on its own. Yes. And just enjoy it for its own. Yeah, you literally do not have to have any experience with Gundam to pick up G Gundam. Might help that you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think that it's... Um, it, I went in the second time, mm -hmm. and I think it was more valuable having seen other Gundam shows sure. um, and having some basis of comparison. Sure. Uh, it's good to understand, because G Gundam... G Gundam is not perfect. No. <laughs> That's an understatement. It is a problematic show. Yes, there there are a lot of a lot of problematic issues with the show, mm. but it, it is it is a strong show and there's a lot of love in it, mm. but it's good to see where it went mm. um, because it was definitely influential on other stuff. Heavily influential. Yeah. I would say. Um, in fact, Build Fighters Try, which is currently airing, mm. is heavily, heavily inspired by it. Um down to like some really silly, subtle stuff. Right, deep nerd stuff. Oh, um, we are rolling some deep nerd stuff. Yes, yes, there will be there will be <laughs> deep nerd shit going on. Mm. Um, so about the creators, yeah. Mm. Um, the director, um, Yasuhiro Imagawa. Mm. Um, he also directed Giant Robo. Mm. Um, and he also worked with um, Yoshiki Tomino on right. Zeta Gundam mm. and um, Aura Battler. Um. The screenwriter of uh, Fuyunori Gobu uh, also wrote um, King of the Braves, um, Gaio Gaijar. Mm. So um, that's, this is a weird one, and it's very, <laughs> very 
topical right now. Um, <laughs> it's, it's topical as these things go. Um, Gundam Build Fighters Try uh, last week introduced a new um, a new robot, the um, the Tryon Three Gundam, and the Tryon Three Gundam is unique because it, it's it, it's supposed to look a little bit like the Double Zeta, but it's not really. It's actually three animals. Um, it's a lion, a bird, and something else. Anyway, it's something aquatic. Yeah, something aquatic. Um, <laughs> And it's um, it's an homage to that series, right? Um, so that's a, an interesting little throwback. And, uh, and that's one of those multiple robots forming into yes, one. Yes, it is a combiner. Combiner. Yeah, combiner. Um, and so that's that's an interesting uh, homage. So if you know all this stuff from what Power Rangers. Yeah, if you're familiar. They're really familiar. I'll form the head. We yes, know. yes. Or Voltron. 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 Oh, Voltron. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, um, one of the, the, the lead character designers, um, Hiroshi Osaka, mm. uh, also worked on Armored Tro Troopers Votomes, mm. which is uh, one of the most popular mecha series, mm. um, at least one of the, the classics. Mm. Um, it's sometimes credited as the first like real robot series, right. um, as opposed to super robots. Um, we're not gonna have that fight. It, yeah, we're not gonna have that fight because um, it's it's silly and um, Gundam really spans it. Um, he also worked on City Hunter, right? Um, and Cowboy Bebop. Um, you might know City Hunter from the the film adaptation, right? Which is a Jackie Chan movie. Yes, yeah, a Jackie Chan movie that has a very famous um, Street Fighter Two segment. Yeah, and so if you haven't found that, if you don't know that, go find it and watch it and come back. We'll yeah, wait. yeah. City Hunter is a very amusing. Very movie. good. You mm. have to watch that later now. <laughs> yes, and um, of course, Cowboy Bebop, mm. um, which is everybody immensely knows. popular. Yeah, yeah, everybody knows. Um, he also worked with um, Kazuhiko Shimamoto, right. um, who worked on Skullman, right. um, and Kamen Rider Zeta O. Mm -hmm. um, he also did the semi-autobiographical piece um, Aoi Hono, mm. um, or Blue Blazes. Oh. Uh, which told about his time in college mm. at the same time um, as famed Neon Genesis Evangelion creator Hideaki Anno mm. and the rest of the Gainax team. Yeah. Um, which, if, if you haven't seen um, Ooi Hano, it's, um, there's a television adaptation of mm. it, a, a live-action drama, and it's wonderful. It's so good. It's very, very good. And um, there's a lot of Gundam references in it. Mm. Um, and if you are, are familiar with G Gundam, mm. um, you'll understand a lot of the jokes that are in that show mm. um, because of his creative struggle. And vice versa, too. Yeah. 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 Um, so anyway, basically, great team. <laughs> great team. A whole bunch of really great people. Incredible talent. Um, and it was it was a big, like, stepping stone moment. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, another thing I, I got to notice... Um, this, we just finished right. watching the English dub. Correct. I've never actually seen the English dub before. Right. You only saw it set. I, um, it, barely even that. <laughs> um, I, I watched it in, in Japanese like 15 years ago mm. or so, very, very long time ago. Um, and that's my experience with G Gundam. Mm, right. Um, so this time around, I watched, we watched the English sub, which is mm. the same version that was on um, Cartoon Network. Mm -hmm. um, and they changed a lot of it. They did. Um, they are not like the, the show, like the plot or anything like that. It basically runs the same way, but a lot of like the character names and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I, I feel like some of the localization must have been a little bit weird. There's some stuff that wouldn't make sense coming from... There's some word choices yeah. uh, that wouldn't make sense coming from, you know, a deeply, you know, Japanese person mm -hmm. to put into dialogue as is. Um, yeah. Which is tough to do. So I'm not saying the localization sucked. I'm just saying there's a couple of little things that, man, if they choose a slightly different word, it would make a lot more sense in my head. Yeah. It was it was a very challenging localization, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Um the names are a lot different mm. in a few cases. Mm. Um, and some of it is um, like weird um, religious reference <laughs> issues. Yep. Um, Americans are so scared of the word God. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, the main, the title Gundam, G Gundam, mm. um, is God Gundam mm. in the Japanese version. Mm. Um, in the Japanese, or in the English dub, it is Burning Gundam. Right. Um, so that sort of, makes the G Gundam name actually not really mean anything. <laughs> um, the series means nothing. Who cares? Uh, uh, yeah, the, the, the bad guy Gundam is um, Dark Gundam right. in English, right. um, but it's Devil Gundam in right. Japanese. Um, 
But that has a funny legacy, though, because of Build Fighters Try. Mm. Um, the the main Gundam in Build Fighters Try is the Build Burning Gundam, mm. um, and it looks a lot like the God Gundam. It does. Um, the well, not not a lot like like all the way away. There's some differences. There's some like the waist and the shoulders are a little different, but it it's very very um like. It's it's definitely an homage. Mm -hmm. um, the the way the flame effects work and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's it's all very much homage. It's got the halo behind it and everything. Ironically, the the character designer for the Bill Burning Gundam mm -hmm. said that he was not aware that the God Gundam was called the Burning Gundam in the English version. Sure. Uh, that may or may not be true. Mm -hmm. It could be a weird coincidence. The weirdest coincidence. I mean, yeah. I guess if you look at that Gundam and decide, well, what are you going to call it? Oh, it's on fire. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's not an illogical jump to happen twice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, then some of the some of them are um, were issues with the um, assuming that American kids are stupid. Right. Um, like the Nobel Gundam. <laughs> Um, the Nobel Gundam, uh, apparently the, the people who were localizing it thought that American children wouldn't know the Nobel Prize. Mm. Um, so they named it the Noble Gundam. Right. Which um, totally makes sense for a schoolgirl Gundam, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, mm. whatever. It, it, I, I think the name is probably more fitting than some of them. Mm. Um, so what about Gundam itself, right? Mm -hmm. In the core series, Gundam is specifically one robot or one series of robots yeah but this they call all of the robots gundam is that ever lampshaded is that ever like um i didn't catch anything uh mm. in my in my um in the recent watching that we did yeah um i know that they they lampshade it in um seed very well they right. um because gundam is an acronym right for uh, gun for, something, something something yeah it's the <clears throat> the operating system right. for the machines mm -hmm. and so if it's a gundam it has that operating system right um which is kind of cool. But I don't think G Gundam bothers to. <laughs> no, it doesn't um, even bother. They're just all Gundam. It's fine. You don't have to have a V fin. It's but all good. But the, um, the, there is the, um, the sort of the unifying factor. Mm. Uh, all of the Gundams are made in the space colonies mm. uh, in order to be sent down to Earth in order to fight in the Gundam have competition. That. Yeah, that uh, quite... So yeah, there's at least a little bit of uniformity there, right. I guess. Okay. Uh, and they all have V fins. Do all of them? Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm, yeah. I'm almost dead yeah. certain. Yeah, that even all ones that really shouldn't. Yeah, Yeah, even like Pharaoh Gundam, right. uh, <laughs> yeah, which d looks weird, but mm. it, it totally has one. Mm. Um, I think Master Gundam, you could say that it's... Um, it's ear thing. Yeah, it innocent. kind of has a V-fin, mm. um, but it's, it's probably the biggest exception, mm. um, if there is one. Mm. So anyway, uh, <laughs> I, we may refer to the English version um, names of some of these mobile suits and or mobile fighters, uh, and we might refer to the Japanese versions. Um, so depends on how much we are drinking, and we're drinking a lot tonight. We are drinking White Russians. White Russians. Uh, <laughs> we are drinking White Russians to the Bolt Gundam. Uh, yes, in in um, honor of the Bolt Gundam <laughs> from Neo Germany. Mm. 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 Near Russia, near Russia. Russia, white Russians. White Russians. Yeah, that's I, we've been drinking. And no, the Bolt Gundam is. Bolt Gundam is Ar Arno's. Arno's um, from Russia. From Russia. Okay. Yeah, and I don't believe that that one changed. I believe that that one was actually Bolt Gundam. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's one of the only ones. Right. 